Hi there, this is Hojik Khan comes with another video. Today I am gonna show you how to put in your subdomain and remove it later. So at first I have to log in my cPanel. slash cPanel. Hmm. Now this is my cPanel admin panel. So so we are coming here to put a new subdomain. So after coming here, scrolling down little bit here, and here you will find a drawing section. Here you will find subdomains. Just click on it, and here you will get. Here you will find a guideline how to create a subdomain. So I simply Keep my subdomain name. So what will be my subdomain? I keep block. You can do, you can give here whatever you want. Okay. So our subdomain will be like it. Public HTML means our sksodic.com slash block. So our subdomain will be appear after our public HTML. That means our domain name after will be appear our subdomain name. So let's create. Okay, now our subdomain will be treat. It will take little bit time. Okay, success blog dot dot com has been created. Okay, our our subdomain has been successfully created. So if you browse there, blog dot dot com. Okay, it's successfully created. As our page is now fully blank, so it shows it shows like that. Okay. Oh, one thing, one thing I have to mention. Subdomain like you can think like folder. After at first you we can keep our subdomain public html slash block and also we can put subdomain like this sksodic.com both will be work same let's see guys if we use now slash it will come in same window uh, after creating subdomain you will see here subdomains we create our subdomain here and scroll down little bit you'll see a section name blog dot subdomain document wrote and radicalization not dedicated actions removes we will find a remove action so simple click here and delete the subdomain now our subdomain will be deleted permanently Okay, success. That subdomain block dot has been successfully removed. So if you browse here now again, you'll see a okay, not here. We'll browse in new tab block dot Now we'll find a error like 404 or something like that. Okay, sorry. If you are the owner of this site and our now I hope you can understand how to create a subdomain and if you need how to remove this subdomain. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe.